What's up guys? Chris, Mid-America Motorcycle. Today we're going to be converting this Harbor Freight lift table over to an air over hydraulic table. We went over these cylinders before. This is a replacement cylinder from Redline Stands. Excellent replacement cylinder. They make it themselves, no leaks. This one's been in there about seven years now. And we're gonna convert this table to an air over hydraulic. Same cylinder, just got air assist to it. Made by Redline Stands, excellent products. We'll get this one tore down, get it in pieces. First thing we gotta do is get this shovel off of here. And once we get it apart, we'll show you what it looks like apart, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we got the cylinder out. This is what it looks like when you get it out. When you're pulling these pins out, take your pins out of here. Those are your set screws. I had to pull the actual grease fitting out of this side because it was catching on the collar there. But these are what your pins look like. Just get an old threaded metric bolt, stick it in there, and you can use that to pull them out. Just have the one set screw there holding that in, and that's just pins. So we got the old cylinder out. We got the new air over hydraulic cylinder here, along with the hose. This has got a handle on it. We're gonna see how that works and probably foot pedal it. But we're gonna get over here, drill us a hole right there for our airline to run through. They say you can run the airline underneath the lift, but I wouldn't want to do that. So we're going to drill a hole right there and put a rubber grommet in it, put our hose in there. But that's what they look like apart, guys. And that's how you take them out. Set screws each side. Put a metric bolt in here. You can pull your pins out. Like I said, I had to take the grease fitting out of this side because it was catching on that collar there. But no big deal easy job we'll see you when this is in there okay guys new cylinder is in you got to make sure your little pins here are flush that way you know that it's in the groove of the pin and took the christmas tree bit put a hole through there of course didn't have a bushing to fit it it'll be a menards trip but the linkage they try to tell you this linkage when you buy the cylinder along with this. You do not need it. The only difference is, as you can see, this one rod doesn't line up with the lifting part of the cylinder. But you put a 5 16 bolt through there, flange nut, flange nut, tighten the two of them together onto here, keeps it straight, saves you a hundred bucks. But she is installed. Old cylinder is there. Gonna save that, that's a good cylinder. I think we are ready to try it out, guys. We were gonna take the shovel off, but of course, the chain I've been saving for a year was one link too short. Just my luck. Bring this guy down here. You, need, you keep your lever, guys. That's your lift lever. You still got that. You can still use that. This is the hose that comes with it. We're going to change this out to a foot pedal eventually. But you know, let's give it a try. There you go, guys. Air over hydraulic lift and your Harbor Freight lift. Again, we're gonna swap that out for a foot pedal, but works like a champion. 
and red line stands, guys. That's where you get it. And I recommend getting the hose with it just because it's a whole lot easier. It's got the 90 in it already. But the bracket kit, you don't need it. Right there, guys. Grade 8 bolt, a couple of flare nuts. Tighten the two nuts on the shaft. You're good to go. That's it, guys. Air over hydraulic on a Harbor Freight motorcycle lift table.